Glock 68 here. Stock Glock Sunday. It's been a long time since I did a Stock Glock Sunday. Found an interesting uh, little lock here I thought I'd share with you. Uh, it's a 38 millimeter, 6 millimeter shackle. Um, it doesn't have a name on it. It's got some good weight behind it. But the thing that got me was the um, Hong Kong, made in Hong Kong, stamped on the uh, keys. And um, so I thought I'd bring that in today. It's a five pinner. Uh, it's got the hardened steel shackle, and before I turn the camera on, I tested it in an inconspicuous spot, and it's definitely hardened. Uh, you don't see that in a lot of the Chinese. This is uh, it's stamped Hong Kong we're looking at in the 70s, I believe. So anyways, it's a five pinner. Let's give it a shot. We'll do a couple of things here today. First, let's see if we can get it SPP'd. Try bottom of the keyway, just make sure I'm not pinching the core. Um, all right, let's give it a shot. We'll start at the back. I don't imagine there's gonna be any um, security pins in it, so it's gonna go heavy tension. Two, three, four, I uh, just want to get pin five, and, okay, there we go, so I was able to get it open, um, let's see if we can, uh, see if we can try a couple of rakes in here, let's see what I got here, let's try a couple of rakes and see what happens, Okay, so we've got the sparrow's worm. Okay, I'm just going to lighten up on that tension just a little bit. Okay, let's reset that. I'm going to pull that out just a little bit. Rock it back and forth. Okay, so I was able to get it with the worm. It's just a matter of adjusting the tension. Um, let's try another. Let's see if we can get into it with um, a city rake. A little different profile. Let's see how that one goes. Just gonna rock it back and forth. Lighten up that tension just a little bit. Okay, so we're able to get into it with the city rake. Um, let's try. Um, let's try the zipping technique. Um, again, the zipping technique is very, very light tension. You want to make sure that you got your tensioner in the correct position. So I'm going to be using the uh, Sparrows, I think it's a hybrid, I can't remember the name of it. Anyway, I'm going to insert it right in the back, super light tension, and I'm going to pull it out really fast a few times and we'll see what happens. Okay, I'm just going to readjust. Okay, so we got that. Um, maybe we'll try one more. It does have a, uh, it's only got one cutout, so one locking pole. Let's see if I can get a shim in there and shim this puppy open. I'm just gonna go down the side there, come in on an angle. have to get a smaller one this one oh, maybe this one will work oh there it is didn't even have to pull on it it popped open okay that's my stock lock Sunday let's have a look one more quick thing here um, 
always like to test these locks to see um, but I can see from here that it has a lip on it so that shim is not going to be entered so they did protect that in the sense um, you can't get the shim in there to bypass the core through there um, so that's it guys uh, let me show you the key for this little beauty from Hong Kong five pinner it does not have a marking on it though I'll show you the keyway it is hardened I did test the shackle there's the keyway and there's a five pin key so hopefully you guys enjoyed that video hit the like button subscribe leave a comment patience practice perseverance guys that stock locks on they stay well